Hey guys, so I calculated how much um, I lose on my channel a month and it is around $42.98. Uh, it depends month to month. Sometimes, whenever I'm commissioning a artwork from, I forget her name, Akayami something, uh, I will pay her about $100 for a digital artwork, which is where you see the intro, the outro, the ones that you guys complain about all the time. But those are commissioned and they are kind of, you know, they're not cheap. You have to pay the artist. Uh, Paige does hers for um, a set of four, runs about $100. I think it's like 100 and more plus now. Uh, I think it's definitely more now, but, uh, and that, you know, it's all commissioned. Then you have to print the stuff. Then you have to send it to subscribers. A lot of times I send it for free to people who leave really nice comments and then I'll just ping them on Facebook. And or I'll, I'll ping them, you know, in the comment section, and say, hey, you know, I really do appreciate that comment. You know, let me send you a card. Uh, post off. That's one of the biggest pet peeves I have about MTG Finance is no one calculates the price of a stamp, of the envelope, of um, the bubbler, the protector case, or any of that stuff. It's always assumed, oh, that's free, but it's it gets costly when you ship as much as I do sometimes. And you know, it's uh, then the camera, the lights, uh, it's, what else is there? I guess the computer program, I use something called TubeBuddy and it's like a monthly fee, but it saves me time. So I'm you know okay with it. And TubeBuddy is only for my MTG Lion account, it's not for any other account. Sometimes I'll advertise like um, on YouTube, not very often, but hey, sometimes they give you enough money and then it's like, you just want to try out and see what happens. But yeah, so at the average month, I lose about $42.98. Uh, the ad revenue sources, Patreon is a negative revenue source. I've calculated that. I lose about anywhere between $15 to $100 a month on Patreon. Uh, $100 was when people were doing lots of boxes and they were shipping from Australia. And Australia is really expensive, even if you do it like in 12 different packages. You know, each of those stamps, like those international stamps are not cheap. And overall, it is a losing, you lose money. I personally lose money on my YouTube channel. Now, when you look at like bigger channels, like I will just take, I love his channel, so I'll just take his channel as an example since it is the biggest, like Tolarian Community College. I think he can make money, but only because he's kind of the biggest. Um, other people who are not as big that channel, unless they have something to sell you, are not gonna make money. So if they sell you uh, uh, something, let's say XYZ, I'm gonna sell you a booster box like Rudy would do, or I'm gonna sell you a you know repack like Darium's, that's money, right? That's kind of like their store and they're selling it, almost. Uh, but if you are a channel like uh, my channel and you don't really have any merchandise to sell and you don't really have that high of ad revenue and you don't have a Patreon which makes money, then you are looking at a scenario where it's extreme, every month you do lose money. Now, how some months are real bad, some months are okay, but it, I'd say that there has not been a single month that I've actually made money from YouTube. And that includes like the revenue sources, which again, not very many for me. So, you know, I have to think about it because it is a hobby. I, it is a hobby. It is a hobby that costs money. So let me put it that way. It's a hobby that costs money to partake in. It's a hobby that costs time to take partake in. And there are other hobbies I enjoy that cost money like Pokemon Go and it costs time, which you know you walk around and catch Pokemons. And how you only have set amount of time and set amount of money, especially for a hobby. So you have to look at it and say, am I enjoying this as much as I enjoy my other hobby? Uh, and my other hobbies are collecting books, doing illustrations, doing graphic design, marketing, and you know, Pokemon Go right now is the hobby I'm currently into. But you know, you have to look at it because that's what I am looking at right now. And it is, you know, I didn't realize how much money I spent on this channel, but it is a considerable amount and I don't see this channel ever becoming net positive. Uh, in 2017, I don't see it making money. And just given the trend and the current trend of everything, which I know because I have the data and I work in analytics, 
So yeah, I mean, uh, I just wanted to be real honest with you guys to see where the channel is, and uh, that's where the channel is right now. Bye, guys.